Good morning. Today, uh, NATO defense ministers will discuss how we can keep uh, NATO capable, making sure we have the capabilities we need to deal with the challenges we face. We will look at ways to uh, address key capability shortfalls and to redress some of the imbalances uh, within the alliance. In particular, uh, we will have our first ministerial discussion dedicated to cyber defense. NATO already protects uh, the networks which uh, we own and operate, and we will continue to do so. But I believe we can do more to assist individual allies if they come under attack. That would show NATO solidarity and we will discuss that today. Tomorrow, we will meet with all 50 members of the ISAF uh, coalition and with uh, the Afghan defense minister to discuss progress in Afghanistan. Soon, Afghans will take the lead for security across the country. And at the end of next year, our combat mission will be completed. We are preparing a new and different NATO-led mission to train, advise, and assist Afghan forces after 2014. I expect that at this meeting, we will take an important step forward by endorsing um, the concept of our operations. This will guide our military planners as they finalize preparations in the course of the coming months. Finally, uh, let me turn to Libya. Uh, last week, the Libyan government requested NATO's advice in the security field. We have already moved fast to respond. Allies yesterday decided to send an expert level delegation to engage on the details of the request. The delegation will identify the areas in which NATO could add value. And we are intent on coordinating closely with other national and international efforts. I expect the team to report back by the end of June so we can decide on the way ahead. I believe that this would be a fitting way to continue our cooperation with Libya after we successfully uh, took action to protect the Libyan people two years ago. And with that, I'm ready to take a couple of questions. Um, we will only have time indeed for just a couple of questions. We'll start with Europa Press down here. Thank you so much, Secretary General. Um, on Libya, uh, so when is the expert team going there? And uh, if we put together a training mission for the Libyan forces, can you guarantee that there will be no deployment on the ground there and that the training would be done in NATO countries or in NATO centers? Thank you. Um, the expert team will uh, go to Libya as soon as, as possible. The, de the decision has been made. Um, so they will go, go as soon as, as possible um, and together with the Libyans identify uh, the areas uh, in which um, the Libyans uh, think they need advice and areas where we do believe that we can add uh, value. Thank you, Your Excellency. Of course, and, uh, photographs will be taken, and of course, the delegation, the delegation members will be so kind to come back. Yes, yes, of course, we can. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Very good to see you. Yeah. Uh, I have a delegation, yes, but at least we have
a warm, well, a warm welcome. welcome to. Uh, we met briefly some weeks ago in the European Parliament. Yes. Uh, I, 